A Titan of a Man, the story of Coach Paul Doc Hines by Paula Hines Lonergan. Copyright 2012. Chapter 3, Raising Dad, Part 6. Life for the boys was not always about play, though. They also had to study and work hard in school. Schooling outside the home for my father and his brothers began at Richard A. Tucker Elementary School. Dad attended Tucker until the seventh grade. Well, it only went to the seventh grade at the time. At Richard Tucker, all the cafeteria workers were kind and outgoing. But the boys were especially fond of one of them. It was their mother, Lottie, who was the manager at the cafeteria in the same elementary school the boys attended. As the manager, she handled the money, compiled the menus, and did the food planning for other events held at the school. Lottie was also a cook. The food was always well seasoned, without using much salt, said my father. The cost of lunch in those days was only 20 cents. The meal consisted of a meat, a vegetable, and homemade rolls. Although sometimes french fries replaced the vegetable, which, of course, isn't really a vegetable, but my, the boy and my father enjoy them. Grandpa made sure his boys had lunch money when they left the house in the morning. Sometimes it was two dimes. Other times it was ten pennies and one dime. In whatever denomination it was, Daddy gratefully put the money in his pocket and headed to school every morning. My father said his mother, Lottie, provided all the students with generous portions of food when she served them. And back then, no student went hungry. Everyone was provided a lunch. If there was a kid who didn't have the 20 cents for the lunch, the teacher was made aware of this. She would tell the principal who informed the cafeteria workers. There were some students who had reduced lunch prices, so everyone could have a good meal in order to perform the best they could in school. The best meal of the year came around Thanksgiving. It included turkey and dressing, mashed potatoes, hot buttered rolls, and a slice of pumpkin pie on the side. Everybody looked forward to that meal in the cafeteria. Lottie, when working in the school, was able to keep a close eye on her boys as they were growing up. My father said the teachers didn't hesitate to call her about the antics the boys had been up to or any problems that they were having. At the time, the teachers at school were allowed to give a spanking. Of course, you could always expect to get another one when you got home. But the monitoring didn't end with elementary school because my father says his mother had a friend who worked at the high school. She kept an eye on him there. My father's upbringing shows that if successful parents strive to be loving companions, good communicators, and patient but firm teachers, providing a wholesome environment in which their children can thrive, they will enable their children to become advocates for others in the community and in their own families. Conclusion of Chapter 3. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you can receive continuous updates of my upcoming video. And yes, that was a picture between, I was between two Revs. Rev the actor and Rev the real guy. All right, take care, thanks.